Yup, we back with a whole new pack. Hoop Invaders are here. You can get a free 10 box in this pack drop. You can get a free 10 box in this pack drop. You don't have to buy these packs because you can get a free 10 box in this pack drop. They do have a $20 bundle. 75k VC, that's that $20 bundle if you if you just have to spend some. They do have all these packs. You can buy these packs. We're going to start off with a pack, a base pack maybe. We're going to start off with something. Let's, a single? What are we going to do? Let me know in the comment section if you like the video. If you like the video, like the video. E either way. Either way. Let's jump off into a little, a little, a little pack. A little Hoop Invader pack. It's the Halloween bundle. I'm going to show you who's in here in a second. Okay, we get a blueberry. Anyway, it's a hollow blueberry. It's a hollow blueberry. I'm with that. Because I think you need a hollow card to... To, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you need a hollow card. Either way, this is who's in this pack. Zach Levine is in here. Pink Diamond Zach Levine. You got Keith Van Horn, who is a good pickup. Actually, a good pickup. Keith Van Horn is not bad. And I wish I could click to see his stats from right here, but I can't. Theo Ratliff is in here. Theo Ratliff might be a good pickup. And then we got little bitty Allen Iverson, a point guard, a six foot point guard with a dream. It is what it is. Sasha's in here. I didn't know Sasha's voice. Booty Chitch is in here. So if you need you a new Ruby, he's in there. I mean, I use rubies in, uh, in, excuse me, salary cap, which is a really good game mode. You can get you some pretty good prizes in here in salary cap. If you want to, but if you got budget cards, this might be the best game mode for you. You do get a option badge pack at the first strike. At the second strike, you get a 15 card variety pack for shoes. You get a shattered shoe prize, uh, 750 at 750 points. You get an 80 plus overall premium pack, 5,000 VC, a hidden gem. And then you get 10 KVC, another shattered prize point at 25. And then you get a 10 Dukes of Dunk box if you finish the whole 5,000 points. You see, I'm on 500 points right now. I'm, I'm shifting through here. This might be one of my favorite game modes, but the game is still stressful to play. Anyway, these Dukes, no, I'm sorry, these Hoop Invaders. Hoop Invaders are going to be, they're going to be clutch. They're going to come in clutch because you can get a 10 box like I told you. Now let me show you how to get that 10 box. If you're trying to get into this 10 box prize right here for Hoop Invaders, you're gonna have to do blocks and steals, get one steal and one block with a player in a game. Then you're gonna have to make three three pointers and shoot 100% with a player in a game, score 10 points in a game with a top of the class player three times. Then you're gonna have to get 10 steals over multiple games, win five breakout games, and then win a triple threat park or triple threat online game. This is pretty simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. You got six objectives. The hardest one I can see you doing would be maybe winning a triple threat park game, depending on the depending on the uh, the cards that you have at your disposal. Now, I do want to look at these cards right fast and see who is what and what does what out here, because as you can see, there are not many cards in this pack, but uh. This Suns player look crazy. I've never seen Yuta. Oh yeah, I, I know about Yuta. I know about Yuta. A 5'9 point guard with a dream. He is 5'9 and he is dreaming. This might be one of them sleeper cards for a gold. I'm not gonna hold you, Yuta. Get a hold of Yuta if you're trying to, you know what I mean? Yuta, 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 you know what I mean? Okay, so if we're looking at Allen Iverson, he does have a shot on him, an 80, a 83. Dang, an 83 point shot is kind of low. Okay, we're not gonna act like he's not a 92 overall diamond. That's crazy though. Animation wise, Darius Garland dribble style, Allen Iverson, mostly Allen Iverson. Mostly Allen Iverson. Moving step back is on James Harden. Jimmy Butler uh, moving hezzy. I don't know, that looks like a bum to me. I'm not gonna hold you. If we're looking at Keith Van Horn though, Keith Van Horn's coming in with a 93 point shot. I told you, this is a sleeper card. You get a hold of Keith Van Horn, he's spot up, he's gonna spot up. He already has Purple Limitless. We know that that Hall of Fame Limitless Hall of Fame set shop. They link together and they get pretty dumb. They get pretty dumb on the floor. You know what I'm saying? And then Dead Eye. Pair that with Dead Eye. He's he's cold blooded. You can look at these uh Devin Buller. Devin Devin Buller. Can I speak? Devin Booker and Bismack Biombo looking crazy out here. That might be a pretty good combination. Might want to try that in my career and see what that's talking about. Keith Van Horn though, a sleeper shooter. If you need a shooter, 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 the booter, a, a shooter booter, a dooter, dooter, one of those. If you need one of those, Keith Van Horn is gonna be him. But Theo Ratliff is a uh, is gonna get crazy out here on the floor from the center position. A 6'10 center, fast, a fast center, 87 speed, 
88 agility. Um, the three point shot though, he don't shoot. That's the only problem, he does not shoot. So he will defend the paint for you. The rebounding is low, but he can defend the paint with a 97 interior defense. Uh, what is his post? What is his post? His post is actually nowhere to be found on this paperwork here. Uh, it should be in shooting maybe, but I can tell you that it's an 84 from looking at his stats on the console. Okay, so uh, Theo Ratliff, not him, but could be something like him if you wanted him to be. Zach Levine is the one shooting guard, point guard, 6'5 point guard, tall enough to get it done. Not too many hot spots. Not too many hot spots with Zach. He is a dooter dooter though. With a 92 three point shot, he is a dooter shooter dooter. He is a playmaker. A little bit of a playmaker with a 90 speed with ball, 90, 86 ball handle is kind of low. So maybe he's not the playmaker I'm thinking of. 95 speed, 89 agility. Bro might be able to get to it. 89 perimeter defense. It's a pretty good card. It's not bad. I would like him to be a little more athletic. What is his vertical? 98 vertical with a outstanding dunk. It should have an outstanding dunk. A 99 driving dunk. This is the dooter dooter dunker dooter. He has purple Hall of Fame, limitless dead eye, set shot, and shifty, shifty shooter. You can get right with bro. Posterizer, aerial wizard, layup, mix master, all on purple. You can get right with bro. You add a few badges, you'll be able to really get right with bro. He is him at this point. This is one of those ones. Yeah, go out there and get to him. He has pretty much Zach Levine everything. No, not even pretty much. Moving spin is on Joel Embiid. So pretty much Zach Levine everything. Zach Levine shot on quick. I mean, this might be that guy. Zach Levine might be Timothy McVeigh if you needed a dooter dooter to do the dooter booter. You know what I'm saying? Either way, we get back into this game. We have to see that I'm not pulling these cards. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not about to burden myself with putting any VC on this game to pull these cards. And that's for personal reasons. You do you. I'm gonna do me. Um, this Hoop Invader bundle for 20 bucks, I mean, might be might be a gem for some of y'all. If that's what you want to get to, something could come out of there. I've gotten some out of there before, but I'm not too enthused because other times I have not got anything out of those. I mean, if you are a big stepper, pack puller, big money man, money bags himself, why don't you go ahead and cash at me because your boy is needing right now. Either way, happy Halloween. You're going to be able to get to Halloween trick-or-treating out there on them boys. In a little minute, in the city, they're gonna have trick or treating in the city for you. So if you play my team, you might as well get over there in the city. Just like I tell you to go get your wheel spin every day, you might wanna go over there in the city and get your trick or treat on because you're gonna be able to go to locations in the game. You're gonna be able to step into some of these locations and get right. What is this? They always trying to make me buy something. I forgot about that pop-up. That's pretty tricky. That's pretty tricky, 2K. That I just hit that A button and try to speed into the game. That's why I put that pin code up there to make sure that I don't buy anything on accident. Because if you're trying to speed through the game and you spam A enough times, you're going to buy something. You're going to buy something on accident. And you're going to be upset. You're going to be asking me how to get your money back. You're going to be in the comments on like, oh my God, Rick, Rick, how do I get my money back? I bought this on accident. If you need your money back, you go to Xbox Live on your phone or on your desktop or something like that. You got to log into Xbox Live. It's a tedious process. You got to log into Xbox Live. Then you got to tell them, you got to go to your billing and find out what you've been charged for. You can probably do it on console too. I mean, if you need a walkthrough on that, let me know. Just let me know because you just got to dispute it there. You can, you may be able to call them too. They have a number you can call. Either way, you're going to be able to step down here onto the boulevard of broken dreams, of broken my players and hopes and whatever else. You can jump in your little car right here that I taught you how to get in one of the late, earlier videos and you can speed drift down here to locations. They're going to have locations for you to jump on the spot and get you a prize for trick-or-treating that prize is gonna go just like the same as when you get your wheel spin out here you just turbo yourself down here and you get your wheel spin you're gonna be able to spin the wheel 34 times something like that they got 30 locations 34 locations and it's gonna be just like the wheel spin you're just gonna pull up to these spots that they have marked on the land and you're gonna be able to just get 34 wheel spins in one night for halloween trick-or-treating and i feel like that that's a gem. It's called the Long Night Double XP. You're gonna get double XP in the city. 
I mean double rep, excuse me. You're gonna get double X rep in the city. The night falls on the city in 40 hours. So I believe that is Halloween, Thursday the 31st, and it's gonna last until Friday the 1st of November. That is pretty much, you know, how you're gonna get your double rep and you're gonna get your 30 wheel spins. That's gonna be pretty dope. If you needing, if you're not having, you you might wanna go do that. You know what I'm saying? It, it's gonna be a whole lot of uh, T-shirts out there. They're gonna give you rep. They're gonna give you double XP coins, double rep coins. They're gonna stuff. They're gonna give you all kind of stuff, so to speak. As you can see, the name on the jersey, Mr. Stuff himself. Either way, I'm just trying to let you know you can get a little something out here if you need something out here there is something for you to get on this boulevard of broken dreams um i mean that's that might be the end of the video but we had a lot we had a lot going on we had a lot going on today so i'm gonna let i'm gonna let y'all sit with that 10 minutes 44 seconds you can like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'm gonna let you know i'm not having so you can send or you can get the numbers up send this to your peoples let them know get me right, get us right as a community so we can do what we need to do. Either way, get out of here because I'm done talking to yous. Kobe! Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.